the set of documents known as the Northwoods documents or the Northwoods agreements or something to that effect. Uh, you had you featured them in your last book. Since we're talking uh, a, a pretext for war, um, that certainly was a pretext for war uh, in, in the early 60s. Uh, can we speak about that for a moment? The idea was to create a pretext to show that the uh, there there was an attack by. Uh, Cuba on the United States, and the idea was to have uh, uh, U.S. personnel uh, from the CIA and other places secretly create terrorism in the United States. The documents actually said people would be shot on American streets, bombs would be blown up, um, and again, all this, the evidence would be uh, laid to point the finger at Castro. Um, one other idea was they were going to uh, uh, they had a very complex plan where they were going to take an aircraft and load it with CIA people who look, look like college students, fly it over to have it take off from an airport in Miami with a lot of publicity, and then um, it would quickly, after it got into the air, land at a secret uh, CIA base. At that same time, an identical plane would take off from that CIA base, except this plane would be empty and uh, it'd be remotely piloted from the ground. Uh, it was a drone plane that would be very similar to the passenger plane that had just taken off. And once the uh, plane was over Cuba, there was uh, going to be a tape recorder that would have played a, a distress call into a microphone saying help were being shot at. And a few minutes later, once the plane was over the uh, Caribbean Sea after it passed over Cuba, it uh, somebody would have pressed a button on the ground blowing up the plane, and uh, they would have blamed Cuba for killing a plane load of American college students. At another point, they, were, they had this idea where they were going to, um, um, uh, actually John Glenn was going to uh, go into his first space mission around that same time. And part of the plan was that if Glenn's uh, rocket accidentally blew up uh, on liftoff, they were going to plant evidence uh, making it look like that it was Cuban sabotage that uh, that blew it up. These were all outrageous uh, plans. Uh, they they made their way all the way up to Secretary of Defense uh, McNamara. Actually, the the plans were all signed by uh, all members of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, and then they went up to McNamara, and McNamara rejected the plan, um, and that was the end of it. So, it uh, it never got put into effect. But the fact that you can get all the members of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, the senior military uh, officials in the U.S. government, signing off on a plan that outrageous uh, is extraordinary to me.